The Food for the Poor Guyana Inc. is continuing its housing project in Berbis. Earlier today, five families benefited from this project. More in this report. The Food for the Poor Guyana Inc. has constructed and distributed over 350 houses in the past in Berbis as part of its ongoing housing project. Today, July 17, the first handing over ceremony of the year was conducted at the Japanese Hall at the St. Francis Developers Community Compound. At the forum, Original Housing Officer Ms. Janelle Williams commended Food for the Poor Guyana Inc. for the tremendous work that they have been doing. I want to say that we at Central Housing and Ministry of Communities are proud to be a part of this initiative. It is heartening to know that our partners, Food for the Poor, Mr. Foster and team, are so diligent in their drive and determination to provide housing for persons who are less fortunate. We want to say thank you, Mr. Foster, thank you, Food for the Poor for assisting us in executing our mandate at Central Housing and we look forward to continuing our good relationship. Mr. Punai Bigru, one of the collaborating partners, congratulated all involved organizations and made an appeal to all recipients. I'd like to encourage you and um, if I can be of any help, that if you have many, make ensure that they have proper education because education is the way out of poverty. So if you have kids, friends, neighbors, if you need help, I mean, you can come to Mr. Foster normally. We, we speak on a daily basis, people who need help. They always, when they come to him, he call me if he can manage. And for education purpose, I can guarantee you that our business from the private sector, my business, we will help to take care of your kids to take set them to school. I'd like to ask my friends here that, um, remember, we're still on COVID-19, so please be cautious, uh, take all necessary action uh, precaution and stay safe. Additionally, Food for the Poor project officer made brief remarks. They have been vetting the applicants for our general housing program and once selected and approved, building is commenced. Today we are pleased to be handing over five completed houses to five families. Each house comes equipped with two bedrooms, modern sanitary facility, a rain harvesting component. Each family will also be receiving two beds, four chairs, one table, one table model gas stove, and a solar panel unit. We want to take this opportunity to wish each family much success, and we do hope they enjoy their new homes. Mr. Alex Foster, founder of the St. Francis Community Developers, also made these remarks. After Adam brought to my attention the applicants, we looked at them and narrowed them to see who are the persons who best satisfy the requirements of the donor. And Food for the Poor Guyana, we did some site visit to the families. Some of them were ruled out because some of them lied. Like some of them had houses already, but was telling us all manner of things. So we visit, then we review the applications. When we review the applications, we found also some family not worthy, so we had to go out back in the field. He also added some of the requirements and procedures before selecting candidates. The main conditions for these families, why they were selected, is that they were the owners of the land, of the land, because Food for the Poor will not build on no land that is not owned by the family. Two, they had to get the okay from the local authority to have um, permission to build on the land. Um, three, we had to get all the necessary documentations in our files to ensure that it could have been properly recorded and documented to prove that we wouldn't have any problem with any family member, any local authority or anyone. Once candidates were selected, he shared what followed next. And then we mobilized the material and we had the contractor to begin his work. Food for the Poor visited and ensured that everything was okay with the families and we were given the go ahead and a check was released to the contractor to commence work. The St. Francis and Food for the Poor visited the work site on several occasions and at the end of it Reynolds came with project officer Andrea Benjamin and some challenges and defects were identified and they were con 
corrected by the contractors. St. Francis continued to work with the family to ensure that the empowerment process can continue. Five families that comprised of 10 adults and 25 children have received a two-bedroom house. Despite being affected by a pandemic, Food for the Poor Guyana Inc. and the St. Francis community developers remains adamant to continue its work to provide houses to needy families at no cost to them. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.